So this is my 2014 Michigan trip uh, antenna. Last year I was able to use a 25 foot vertical up in a white pine tree. This year there was no pine trees or trees easy to climb. So basically what I have is a 50 foot long electrically short dipole, which is non-directional. Um, they have two wires 25 feet on each side of this matching transformer. Um, 25 feet down to the large tree in the center there and then uh, from the other side uh, runs another 25 feet. This thing is oriented in an azimuth of 125 degrees. Uh, they both come into the matching transformer here which is uh, 42 turns to 6 turns on an FP140 Type J toroid and from the matching transformer they come out through the coax connector onto 90 feet of RG174 coax down the tree and back to the uh, cabin there which is about 65 feet away. The next cable comes out of the woods and goes into my common mode choke here and from there uh, it goes into the silver 1 8 inch phono jack which goes directly into the radio. I added that jack after last year because it had an external antenna which I was using uh, which was a little more difficult to travel with and uh, since I just wanted to inductively couple the antenna I decided to make it all internal. Um, the other eighth inch phono jack is the audio output which goes into the uh, USB coupler and then uh, directly into my laptop uh, which allows me to record uh, video as I need to. The last picture is my portable antenna packed for travel. This consists of two Ziploc bags that has all the wires, tools, tape, and the radio and then you can see next to it the grounding rods and the ballon. The only thing missing is the common mode choke which is the standard 4x4 four four inch electrical box. In addition to the portability of RG174 coax another reason to use it is that uh, basically it fits under any door uh, most doors without binding when you open and close the door so I'm not getting any wear and tear on it and it allows me to DX from the inside away from all the mosquitoes and rain or whatever else you might be having.